At this time, our elect can go to their places with their sponsor. And when you get to your place, just for a moment of quiet prayer, we're going to ask you to kneel. To kneel, the, our elect young people. And let us all pray for them in a moment of silence, asking God to help open their spirit, open their hearts, and to identify those things that they wish to change in their lives. if they could stand with us in prayer. Let us pray for these elect whom God has chosen. May the grace of the sacraments conform them to Christ in his passion and resurrection and enable them to triumph over the bitter fate of death. That these elect may be given the faith to acknowledge Christ as the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That they may be freed from sin and grow in the holiness that leads to eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That liberated by repentance from the shackles of sin, they may become like Christ by baptism, dead to sin and alive forever in God's sight. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That they may be filled with the hope of the life-giving spirit and prepare themselves thoroughly for their birth to new life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Eucharistic food, which they are soon to receive, may make them one with Christ, the source of life and resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us may walk in newness of life and show to the world the power of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for, and with them, a prayer of exorcism to drive out, exercise, drive out and away from them any power of sin or evil that can harm them. So if you could spread your hands in prayer over them. Father of life and God, not of the dead but of the living, you sent your Son to proclaim life, to snatch us from the realm of death, and to lead us to the resurrection. For these elect, from the death-dealing power of the spirit of evil, so that they may bear witness to their new life in the risen Christ, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And I ask you to continue in your prayer for them as I lay hands upon them. And again, if we could extend our hands over them. Lord Jesus, by raising Lazarus from the dead, you showed that you came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Free from the grasp of death, those who await your life-giving sacraments and deliver them from the spirit of corruption. Through your spirit who gives life, 
Fill them with faith, hope, and charity, that they may live with you always in the glory of your resurrection, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. And I send you forth once again in the final time to share this powerful, powerful gospel today.